Today, we are going to tell you about the intricacies of cutting plywood on CO2 laser machines, the material characteristics and how to achieve the best and cleanest cut. Hello, this is Verma. Follow the tips and you will definitely succeed. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about laser machines. First, let us talk about the material. It's worth noting that not every type of plywood is suitable for laser cutting. The following points should be considered when choosing plywood kind. The kind of plywood determines the quality and complexity of the cutting process. Low-grade plywood, C and D, is not suitable for cutting with a laser machine because it has a large amount of glue and knots that will interfere with the laser. Other disadvantages of low-grade plywood include cracks, strong flexure, bubbles between veneer layers and uneven thickness of a sheet. All of these faults can result in defective products. That is why we recommend using grades A and B of plywood. Move on to the next point, the thickness of the plywood. The best quality and efficiency can be achieved when cutting plywood with a thickness of 3 to 6 mm. The other types of plywood have disadvantages. Plywood 1 to 2 mm is very brittle and will not last long. Thick plywood 8 to 10 mm is slow to cut and there is always a charred black edge after cutting. Another important point is the type of wood veneer. There are three types, coniferous, deciduous and birch. The most suitable veneer for machining is birch. Once we have chosen the material, let us work out the speed and power parameters. The settings should be selected for each plywood thickness separately. For 3 mm plywood, the approximate speed is 25 to 30 mm per second and for 6 mm, it is 15 to 20 mm per second. In this video, we use a power of 85%. Power should be selected liberally in case a laser beam hits a knot or an area with a thick layer of glue. The key to a clean cut is good blowing. The airstream does not only cool the lens, but also ensures accuracy and aesthetics of the final product. With good blowing, there is no soot or carbon deposits, which reduces the time required for post-processing. For good blowing, we recommend the use of a compressor. 1.5 to 2 atmospheres is sufficient. To avoid any carbon deposits on the reverse side, use clean anodized blades. A lens with a long 4-inch or medium 3-inch focus should be used. Remember about alignment. Proper alignment helps to avoid beveled cuts. If you often work with plywood thicker than 8 mm, you should use a laser tube with more than 100 watts, preferably 130 watts. Follow the rule of thumb of 10 watts power per 1 mm of plywood, but use the tube at 80% of its maximum power and it will last longer. To avoid uneven cutting of the plywood, you should monitor the belt's strain. They should not sag, but at the same time, they should not be over-tightened. Watson machines have a rigid frame construction, 3M belts and belt reducers, which allows for perfect results without the slightest distortion when cutting and engraving the pattern. Done. Check out the result. Well, we are done with cutting, but what about engraving? Here are some recommendations for engraving plywood. It is recommended to engrave an image cross-grain. Air blowing should be reduced not to blow the combustion products to the material. Life hack: Use masking tape for a better result. It's only acceptable when the engraving area is small. Paste over the engraving area with a tape. Do not worry, the laser power will not be affected. The tape will help to prevent fouling beyond the edges of the design. After engraving, peel off the masking tape and you have a good result. The use of masking tape is reasonable for small amounts of cutting and for products without small fragments. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult to clean the product from the remnants of the tape. This is all basic information on cutting and engraving plywood. Try different power and blow settings. Do not be afraid to experiment. If you still have questions, post them in the comments and we will be happy to answer them. Also, press like and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any new videos. This is Verma. See you in the next video.